It was merely less than 15 minutes past mid-hour, but blue and red lights at the Gadutura Hospital Casualty Ward were already flickering, with ambulances coming in and out. This pool of blood and bloody clothes and a trail of blood inside the casualty, which kept hygienic officials busy, is what you're about to see. Twelve people were treated at the hospital between mid-hour and at half past two o'clock in the morning. Ten of them came in with sub wounds from knives, bottles and other objects and many seemingly having lost a lot of blood. And all these patients are young people who just celebrated the new year and landed here before even returning home. Health workers on duty were under pressure, mostly as they had to deal with uncooperative patients. One of them, who lost volumes of blood and was put on a drip, angrily walked out while being attended to. Efforts by nurses and his friends to help bring him back for his treatments to continue failed, and that was until he eventually collapsed outside the ward. One of the patients had a bullet wound to her face. She is from Havana Informal Settlement, who is said to have been struck by a stray bullet, which went through her shack and hit her in the face. Another male patient was hit by a bullet around his back while at a gathering in Soweto, but it's not clear how that happened. But it was unfortunate that a 17-year-old who was brought in about an hour before midnight did not make it. He was brought in as a result of a knife stab wound. Until our news team crew left at half past two in the morning, ambulances were still busy bringing in patients, and a doctor on duty told us that the morning was still young.